Welcome, everyone. This is the 1st of June, 2023. It's Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Topics for today, uh, 2.401.1 has released. The internationalization pull request has merged. And end-of-life notifications and then May newsletter. Any other topics, Bruno, that you want to include on the list? No, thank you, Mark. I don't have any. Okay, so delighted that 2.401.1 has released and uh, looking positive. Let's take a quick look at the ratings on the page just to see. So if we look at the download page and see what the current ratings are, we've got Ooh, 30, nice. 30 positives and no negatives. And I've been using it happily, so I'll increment by one. Good. All right, so it looks it looks promising. That's that's good. Now we're only one day into it, yeah. But that's a good good sign. The internationalization pull request from J. E. Chen has been merged. He approved he or she the person approved the uh, changes I had proposed and has submitted a new pull request. Yes, so indeed. the new pull request. Jeffrey. Oh, right, Jeffrey, so probably mail, right, yes. So here's the new pull request. I won't get to this one for a while. I suspect it requires the same kinds of changes, structural and organizational adjustments as the earlier one did. There are things that were in the old wiki that have a place in the new in the new site, in the current site, but not exactly else. a direct translation right it's it, there's there are better ways to approach it so so i've done the first review but just on the syntax uh it won't help that much but yes now oh good um it's work for the grown-ups <laughs> well thank you for doing that that's great oh and they did it again off their master branch okay yeah, yeah thank you for the reminder for them we we it it's not a terrible inconvenience, but it just complicates my life as a reviewer when someone uses the master branch instead of on their own copy instead of using using a a feature branch or an, a separately named branch. But Good. to be totally honest, it's not that clear in the documentation I linked in my comment. Oh, oh, good. Okay, so we should make it more clear. Yes, it's written something like uh, to a branch, but not to a new branch that is not main nor master. Uh, uh, so I should do that. <laughs> great. Very good. All right, thank you. Anything else on the internationalization pull requests? No, thank you. Okay, next topic was end of life notifications in Jenkins core. And here we've gone one step further now. We have a blog post that announces it. And one of the one of the mistakes I've made that needs to be corrected is that the redirect from the page inside Jenkins needs to go to the blog post. So today, oh. Inside Jenkins, there's a hyperlink, refer to this documentation for details. And when the person clicks on that hyperlink, it will take them to the Jenkins Linux requirements page, which is not bad, but I think it would be clearer for them if it took them to the blog post. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. So this is not a bad page, or no, wrong one. The, it takes them to the Linux support policy. This is not a bad page, but the blog post, at least for the next several weeks or a month, is probably a more accurate expression of exactly what's happening and why it's happening. Got it. So that's um, that's a to do item for somebody. Do you have you ever created a, a redirect, Bruno? Uh, no. Okay. No, no. I was just wondering. Uh, do you, of course you have some old uh, system running that will display uh, that information. Unfortunately, I don't run any old OS, so I won't see that. Oh. Correct. So what you'd have to do is, yeah, you're correct. The only users who will see this are users who are running an operating system that will either has already reached end of life or will reach end of life within the next six months. Or in the case of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and its derivatives, 
we show that to them if you're using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 immediately, even though the operating system provider end of life is June mm -hmm. 30th, we're yes. going to end life in, for it in the Jenkins project November 16th. Yeah, so now, actually, I think I'll just, I was going to see, hey, Bruno, do you want to try to update the existing redirect? Yeah, but the, we'll if you're that. willing to do it, try to update the redirect to point to the blog post. Oh, it's in the Jenkins core code. Uh, no, no, this is actually not a change in Jenkins core at all. That's the nice thing about this redirect. Oh, cool. <laughs> redirects, <laughs> redirects. So if we were to look inside the pull request, we can find the URL. Oh, okay. We'll find so it. let's go looking there and we'll find it. So core, if we look at pull requests and we say warn, come on. And look at closed. And here it is. Okay, so here, now inside the source code of this pull request and the files changed, we'll find a reference to www.jenkins.io, this reference right here. Okay. That is the re that is the redirect. Mm -hmm. And so Oh, so it's directly in Jenkins.io um, repo and not in Jenkins core. Okay, fine. Right. We'll do that. And and what you'll do is you'll find that on the Jenkins.io source code. Mm -hmm. If you do a search for it. Uh, oh, no, I searched badly. If we do a search for this, I mm -hmm. think it will find it for us. Yeah, there it is. And so this is the file that needs to be changed. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's not a, a guidance, it's a complete tutorial. Thanks a lot for writing. Well, and, and my apologies. It's just, I want to be sure you have a chance of success. So yeah, that's so very kind that, of that file it. needs to change. And what it needs to change to is point to the blog post instead of the Linux requirements page. Okay, thanks a lot, Mark. This is a recipe for success. <laughs> right, okay, great. Then the, then the next step, topic we had was the May newsletter and there, mm -hmm. uh, Marco's submissions. I'll hopefully get to those late today. Because Tomorrow now that we're also. past the end of the month, I can say with confidence which things happened and which didn't <laughs> yeah all right any other topics bruno no thank you mark okay let's call an end for today and see everybody in 20 minutes at the live stream on what's new in jenkins 2.401.1 okay we'll attend